Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Woo woo! Oh god. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys have been enjoying everything that you've been seeing so far. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below, and do all the fun things. I um, hope you guys are enjoying it. Thank you to everybody who's been watching lately. I think we're almost to 50 followers, so that's like an amazing bonus for me right now. So once we hit that 50, we'll do something special. I hope you guys are ready for a fun challenge today. Today we have a special guest. Uh, we're going to be doing another trivia challenge with Melissa! Woo! You guys remember Murph, she was here for our Disney challenge and won, so now is gonna be my redemption. Today we're going to be doing... Nope. No redemption for you. Anyway, so now we are going to be doing another challenge um, for both of us that are, I feel like we are equally, equally balanced on. So this time we are going to be doing... <laughs> We're gonna be doing a Harry Potter challenge. We're gonna be uh, Alex who is of course behind the camera again is going to be asking us some questions And then we are going to be answering them same way that we did the Disney challenge one person goes if they get it wrong The other person has a chance to steal swipe for no swiping. Do you have a favorite Harry Potter character? Oh Yes, who? Oh, it's no. Harry. <laughs> no Cedric Diggory <laughs> God, that's right, Robert Pattinson, your favorite. I forgot about that. Oh my but like, God. But I mean, if I was gonna have one, it would be Harry. Oh, Harry right. Harry is, but a lot of people like Ron Weasley and I'm not a big Ron Weasley fan. Oh no, dude, totally Hermione Granger all the way. Who likes wow. to know it all? I do. Ah. I love her, especially when she punches Draco you Malfoy are in the face. With Brandy. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> she needs to sort out her priorities. Um, do you have a house? I don't. I mean, you don't have a house. You I haven't done Pottermore. Griff uh, no, maybe Gryffindor. But I think that like everybody would choose Gryffindor. But I kind of like Hufflepuff too. I know for a fact, like my house is Slytherin. Mine's I'm Slytherin too. Yeah, but I'm also a mix of Gryffindor, so I'm both. Should we rock, paper, scissors? Who's gonna go first? You're gonna do rock. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was gonna do rock! <laughs> I told you. Bruh. Rock, paper, scissors. Ooh. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors. God damn it! <laughs> Anywho, Murph's gonna go first. Are you ready? You're a little scary sometimes, you know that? Brilliant, but scary. Who is wrong giving this awkward compliment to? Hermione. That is correct. That is correct! Oh! You're a little scary sometimes, you know that. Brilliant, but scary. You ready, Randy? Yes, I'm ready. What object must be caught in order to end a Quidditch match? Uh, the golden snitch. That is correct. Yes, it is! Are you ready, Melissa? Yeah. When Oliver Wood, the captain of Gryffindor Quidditch team, is explaining the rules to Harry, what is the first ball he shows Harry? The Warfel. I I forgot what it's called. Is that your final answer? The Warfel. <laughs> he pulls out an ego. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I give up. I forgot. Okay. Randy, you want to steal? So, it's the Quaffle with a Q, I believe. It's called the Quaffle. Quaffle. Quaffle, Quaffle. It's some. It's one of those. I, in a British accent, it's... What's, what's no, because it's an Irish accent. It's a Quaffle? Quaffle is the correct Quaff, Quaff, Did I not say that? You said Quaffle and Quaffle. Quaffle. Like, it... Uh, there's so many different ways he pronounces okay, it. So I was kind of close. So let's not. Mine guess. was closer. Okay, well that's fine. And Mine you was get closer. The point. So I get the point. You get the point. But I'm just saying it wasn't like I was off that far. Dee, 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 dee. All right, Randy, you ready? Yes, I am. Why did Lord Voldemort want the Sorcerer's Stone so badly? To keep him alive forever, because it's a immortal stone. So the Sorcerer's Stone kept Nicholas Flamel alive. Immortally, and so he wanted that so he could be immortal. That is correct. Yeah! <laughs> Ran, er, Melissa, you ready? Yeah. In which movie do Fred and George Weasley fight each other, rolling around on the floor as they sprout long beards? 
Uh, the Goblet of Fire. That is correct. I think that's my favorite movie. I, I don't usually I don't usually play favorites in general, but I think that is my favorite movie. Whose turn is it? Expelliarmus. What type of broom does Malfoy give to all the Slytherin players in order to make the team? Uh, the Nimbus 2001. That is correct. Yeah! And they're black and sleek. I think if I was going to get a broom, it would definitely look like that. Because it's so cool. Are you ready, Melissa? Yeah, let's do this. What was the monster that resided in the Chamber of Secrets? Ooh! Ooh! Like, you know how, like, last time you were saying, like, you would, like, under pressure, like, drawing blanks? I'm so Come on, come on, Murph. Get it out. <laughs> I don't know. Randy, are you stealing? Yes. Um, it's a basilisk. <sighs> that is correct. Yes! It's a snake. Very true. Yeah. Whose turn is it, Randy? Randy's turn. In Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, who does Cho Chang go to the Yule Ball with? <gasps> Cedric Diggory. That's right. Yes! You get all the easy questions. Whatever, right? no! <laughs> all right, are we ready for the next question? Yes. Melissa, in which movie do Draco and Harry engage in a wizard's duel? Ooh. Ooh. The Chamber of Secrets? Is that your final answer? Yeah. That is correct. Yeah, it was Chamber of Secrets because yeah. that's when he speaks Postal Tongue for the first time. <laughs> that's Postal Tongue, yes. On to the next question, please. Thank you. What position does Ron Weasley play for the Gryffindor Quidditch team? Keeper? That is right. Yes! Dude, have I gotten all these right? Yes. Yeah. I have a problem. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How about if you get this one right? Either way, I'm kicking her ass right now. So what we're gonna do for this last question is that whoever uh, says their magic spell first gets to answer the question. Murph is going to do... Expecto Patrono. And I'm going to do Havada Kedabra. <laughs> <laughs> so this is gonna be like the last question. Whoever gets this right wins the game. I'm like repeating my spell five times in my head right now so I don't say it wrong again. One day soon you are going to meet the same sticky end. Who said this and which movie is it from? Avada Kedavra. Ready? I know, I know who it is. It's um, Lucius Malfoy and it is, um, <clears throat> what's the second movie? The Chamber of Secrets. Chamber of Secrets. That is correct. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. It took me a while, but she I got it. it. That means I'm the winner. Oh, well, now you guys need to do a tiebreaker video. Oh, what should we do for that one? Hey, why don't you guys Stay comment tuned. down below and tell yeah. us what you think we should do? So that since would be cool. Murph won the last one, I won this one. We have to have a tiebreaker challenge. So give us your ideas and comment down below. Let us know what you want to see us do or challenge us on. It could be something that we have no idea on or something that we're really good at. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Make sure you share this video. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. Make sure you check out every Saturday and love, love you, you mean it. it.